Hello subscribers, today I'll be showing you how you can 3D print your Pix4D project and create real life replicas of the areas you've been mapping. For this example, I'll be using the construction site scene that is included with the Pix4D application and turning it into this 3D printed model. In order for us to be able to do this, we'll have to use two applications, Pix4D and Blender, in order to create two different types of files. So Pix4D will uh, be exporting a type of file called an OBJ file, which is a flat file. Uh, the, uh, the model does not have any depth, so you will not be able to 3D print it. So we will use Blender to uh, create a thickness and then import it into a 3D printing application called Cura and then 3D print it. So start off by opening Blender and importing your OBJ file that you have already created in Pix4D. If you are not at this stage yet, I'll link a tutorial in the description below showing you how you can do this. When you've imported the OBJ file into Blender, go ahead and rotate it so it's flat, and then we'll proceed to add the modifier that will create the thickness in the plane. Now at this point you've got several objects selected because the outline is orange, so we won't be able to access many features. So go ahead and, and click on the model once, it'll turn into a yellow outline and you'll get a whole range of new features that we need. Click on the little wrench icon and that'll bring up the modifiers menu. In the second column there's a solidify modifier that we're going to be using and as you can see there's already a thickness added to the plane. To change the thickness, put your mouse over the slider with thickness written on it and move it around right and left and that'll change it. You will have to experiment with this uh, yourself because every model will be different. Uh, you want to get the highest thickness, so as thick as possible, without impacting the quality of the model. As you can see the sharp edges over there, they'll start to degrade once you add too much thickness. Once you're happy with the result, uh, click on File, Export, Export as STL and that will create a 3D printable file that we will now import into the Cura software. Depending on your 3D printer, you may want to use another slicer. For example, if you have MakerBot, go ahead and use the MakerBot software. It'll work just as well. Once the model has loaded in, uh, go ahead and adjust it to your desired size and change your settings. I would recommend printing at the highest possible resolution and completely solid as it is already a pretty thin model and there are quite a few details that will be lost if you print at low res. As you can see the model seems to be hovering above the surface but do not worry, the slicer will generate a support material that will hold it up and create a solid object underneath it. Uh, but unlike other 3D prints, we will not remove the support material as it is part of the model essentially. Once you 3D print the model, you may notice quite a bit of stringing occurring, uh, but do not worry, it is pretty easy to remove and the model is finished in less than 5 minutes. In my opinion, the model turned out pretty well. You can see that the man-made structures, the tunnel and the kind of reservoir, uh, turned out very well, although the trees not so much. If you did this with a uh, more man-made uh, landscape, for example a city or a bunch of houses, I think this will work even better considering their geometric uh, shape. And here is another final comparison between the actual model and the 3D printed model. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to support this channel.